Hi, this is Aditya Dhar. I'm the writer and producer of Article 370. And what a fabulous response. I loved it. Uh, the crowd, the love, the affection, the, the respect which we got for the film. It's incredible. And thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Hi, my name is Aditya Suhas Ramle. I'm the director of Article 370, the film. So we have made a film on this amazing historical decision that India made on, uh, took on 5th of August 2019. It was uh, only one thought always was important while we did this film. There are no political thrillers which are made in India. I'm a big uh, Aaron Sorkin's fan. I really, really get inspired by all the Hollywood films like Vice, like uh, even the series like House of Cards and everything. So the thought was always as a director that can I actually deliver a political thriller in India. And I think with all the, uh, the due credit to the entire cast and crew, which has worked uh, sleepless nights literally to make this film a success. And uh, the reactions that we are getting from theatres are amazing. People are making their own videos, people are really recording things in the, uh, in the theatres. And coming out, it, this kind of response I never thought we would. But I think the only dream that I had while I made this film was everybody told me that information is something that is always boring, technical knowledge, you shouldn't put it in films, it's too, it's too clumsy, sometimes people will not react to. I think as an entire group, as an entire filmmaker arena, we actually decided that we will change that thought and we will tell things in detail and information might be used as a USP with action, with all the thrill and everything, it's an entertainment that uh, you can get through a film like Article 370. I think the reaction th that the audience is giving right now is amazing. I get reactions from literally uh, the youth who is not interested in history, who, is, who doesn't like history and civics as their history subjects in their schools, yet they are really liking the film and they are trying to dig more deeper into what happened and how it happened. I think that is amazing. That is, that is I think, that is the legacy I wanted to build with this film. I just want everybody to go and watch it in theatres. Uh, just encourage everybody if you have liked the film so that you know everybody from all the age groups goes and watches this film because it's truly a film made for an Indian. Maybe you are anywhere, it's the film that is made for an Indian. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Kiran Karmar Guru. Article 370, you have seen it or seen it. So, this role is just like an audition, and I got it. And I have seen the scenes that I have seen. और उसको एक्चुअली वीडियो भी मैंने देखा और शायद 50 बार मैंने ये वीडियो देखा राज्यसभा में जो उन्होंने बात की थी और फिर डायरेक्टर से ना डिस्कस किया मैंने और उसके बाद ये रोल हुआ है मेरा और लोगों को पसंद आ रहा है ना एम हैप्पी आई एम ज्योति देशपांडे आई रन जियो स्टूडियोस व्हिच इज द कंटेंट आर्म ऑफ रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज वी आर अ कंटेंट प्रोड्यूसर फिल्म्स वेब सीरीज एटसेट्रा एंड हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस फिल्म that has been a runaway success called Article 370, uh, which was a film that released a couple of weeks ago, which has been very, very, very popular. Um, and the question posed to me is, how did we think of making this film and how did this come about? Um, so I think Kashmir has been India's crown jewel for so long. Uh, we all know what happened in 1947 uh, as India got its independence. Uh, you had India and Pakistan, the, the whole division of Pakistan as another country. And the other uh, thing that happened around that time was dual status to Kashmir. Kashmir had been languishing uh, for 70 odd years and uh, 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 the dual status completely crippled uh, that beautiful, beautiful place. How uh, the current government of India worked on the ground in Kashmir as well as the strategy, the mind, the legal uh, minds that went on to make the abrogation of Article 370. Now, I was reading about this, uh, the director, uh, the co-producers, they brought this subject to us and uh, it dawned on us that not many citizens of India who even read the newspaper every day uh, know what Article 370 is, let alone the abrogation. So it was a story of national pride. It allowed me to showcase two very strong female protagonists. One, the character of Zuni, who who's based on a real-life uh, uh, cop NI agent who actually played uh, uh, a similar character, and the role of the chief whip. Uh, 
which is played by Priya Mani. Uh, it allowed me to tell this story uh, with these two strong female characters. Uh, and this is a film that will stand the test of time. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very proud film that transcends uh, just economic benefits and box office success. Of course, the audiences are going in large numbers and giving us that success. But the intent of the film uh, transcended uh, just an economic uh, uh, sort of return.